full live wells and full stringers. Heavy hook sets and big bass just coming into the boat. And wild fishing stories to tell your friends. These are the days that we look forward to. This is not one of those days. Sometimes when I wake up, I have just almost like a foolish optimism that when I get out there, it's just going to be nothing but ticks on the end of the line, heavy hook sets, bass just flying everywhere. But it's a hard thing to kind of reconcile is the hard days. The days that you don't expect to have. Because every fisherman, like me, and most of you, tend to get out there and just want to put something in the boat. And it's a hard thing to tell your friends and to tell the people around you that, that you struck out, that you missed. That everything that you had planned and everything that you thought was going to happen didn't come to fruition. And at the beginning of the day, just like everything else, I had high hopes. But fishing into the river system didn't necessarily pan out the way I wanted it to. So I decided to make a change. To go to a different area, to a different spot to maybe, hopefully, find bass that hadn't been touched in a while. How wrong could I be? Sometimes you just kind of feel like everything's dead. There's no life. There's nothing. But you fish it anyways. Because just a couple weeks ago, this spot was hot. Not anymore. The fall season's upon us. Winter's coming. Cold nights. Dreary days. It's a hard thing to grapple with. And you used to be on a pattern that would produce at least what would be considered a limit. Five bass in the boat, and that's all you want. But at this point, I'd settle for a bite. I think hindsight's always 2020 in these situations. Looking back on it now, I knew I made a mistake. If I had been here three weeks earlier, this place would have been alive. There would have been shad, bluegill, bass, everything that you could imagine. But not this time. This time was a little different. And I could tell it when I first got back there. I tried all the old techniques, the things that I knew would work, my go-tos, the things that I know would work, like flipping into cover, using an underspin, top water. But it was desolate. It was like fishing in the Mojave Desert. I might as well have been practicing casting. Because that's what I did that day. I practiced on casting. Because what more can you do when you're not catching fish other than just to practice the thing that you're doing already? Even though it was a beautiful day, nice and warm out, nothing. No signs of life. 
And it was obvious at this point. But I already made a commitment. I committed to this. And what more am I to do than to go ahead and just press forward? I guess an optimistic way to really be looking at this is that all I'm doing is really eliminating water. I'm figuring out where the bass aren't. And maybe that leads me to the place I need to be. Sometimes I think I'm a fool when I'm out there. Sometimes I think that maybe I should call an audible. Maybe I should just pack up and go to a different spot. Maybe I should just, heck, pack up all together. But unfortunately, that's not my real mindset to this. I can't just pack up. I'm kind of stuck here. I took the long way around and poured a gin. And there's a forest of lily pads in front of me. What more is a boy to do? Other than fi see it through, fish your heart out, and at least try to get a bite. It's easy to have the good days and to look like a professional, to feed the ego of the of the soul and posting pictures on Instagram with with a bass of a lifetime. But these are the tough days. These are the days that every fisherman knows that they have. And every fisherman knows that they're coming for them. A lot of people at this time of year usually pack it up, put the kayak on the shelf, and say, I'll see you next spring. But not me. Maybe it's stubbornness. Maybe it's a hard-headed thing. Maybe it's just a passion. Maybe it... I can't necessarily grasp on to it. But something about having a line in the water just makes me feel good. It makes me feel at peace with myself and the world around me. Even though at this point... I feel like I'm fishing for musky. A fish of a thousand casts. Nothing to show for it. Not even a bite. When the sun's getting low and everything's starting to wrap up, you fish till the last minute. The first time you see that little pop, especially when you've been fishing for hours, it gets your heart going. Even if it is just a little guy. But when you finally get the opportunity to actually hook into one, too much. You set the hook too fast, you don't allow the fish to take it, and there goes your opportunity. There goes the opportunity to actually keep the skunk out the boat. And as the day gets long, and the sun starts to set, and everything just seems, well, to not even gone in your favor a little bit. Now I find myself being stuck in a situation to where now I gotta paddle through a forest of lily pads to make my way through these. It almost it almost becomes a sort of meditation to push myself through this forest. And kind of a reflection point to figure out where did I go wrong? Did I make the mistake? Or was it just a bad day and none of the fish were going to be biting anyways? Who knows? 
Other than the fact that I know, at the end of the day, I fish my heart out. And you can say that, yeah, that was a mistake. Maybe I should have committed to a different spot. A spot with less dead vegetation and more life. But I committed to the spot with more life and it produced the same. But at the end of the day, I'd rather be the optimistic fool that finds water to eliminate rather than being the stubborn pessimistic that doesn't even get the kayak in the water. I'm just Nellis. I'll see you out on the water.